Good morning guys. So it is another vlog and it is another shooting day. Today I'm gonna shoot with Iris and I was just doing my outfit and decided to start recording. So this will be the basics of my outfit. Very basic, just like 501 Levi's and this little jacket that is from Casa Studios. And then I really want to wear this jacket that is from Source and Moon. So I'm just gonna add this one. I need to close all of these little buckles so it looks cuter. And then for the shoes, I was thinking of adding my moon boots. <laughs> they're so cute. I know this is a controversial shoe, but they're very, very comfortable. And I think they look very cute. I actually have a story about this. So the first day I wore this, moon boots i was taking pictures at the beach and i was super chill like taking pictures seated down facing backwards to the sea i don't know if that's correct english but yeah i was like backwards to the sea and then a big big wave came <laughs> because iris was taking pictures of me and like we both didn't notice so yeah it kind of all went down the drain like I I was soaking wet and the day of shooting ended there but then I got home and the moon boots were like soaking wet and I just put them to dry like uh, on a window with like direct sunlight and I left them there for like let's say 10 days I didn't wear them for like 10 days and then yesterday I put them on to try them with another outfit and they were still soaking wet inside it's like they have like a cushion inside it had like all of the water there still and i was like what the hell my socks were like completely soaked and i don't know anyways what i did was i kept changing socks and walking in them so the socks would like um soak all the water my english today is really bad i don't know what's happening with my brain anyway i also put like a hair dryer inside the boots so they would dry so yeah here we are today is this normal because snow is kind of wet and cold you know like what if snow gets inside your moon boots and because it took like forever to dry them is this normal or are, are these just like shitty boots for the snow but everyone's wear everyone wears them because they're cute anyways so this is the outfit so far and i really want to add this vintage burberry scarf i kind of want to wear it as a balaclava so i'm gonna do like something i saw on tiktok so you start like this this bit is longer than this one I don't know if this, this is gonna work very well because the, the videos I saw were like very very chunky big scarves and this is like rather thin but let's see so you kind of go around it like this and then this one goes inside here and then you just get this part from the back and put it over like this it's kind of cute it's kind of cute okay so this is the outfit so far and I'm gonna add my red back to match the red and the scarf and then I really kind of wanted to have like gloves that are like this shade of beige but I don't I only have these ones they're like kind of brown so not sure i'm gonna see if iris has any gloves that is this shade to see if i can borrow I st i'm still gonna bring these ones with me and yeah let's go because i still need to put gas on my car and we still need to pick up iris uh, so yeah guys i totally forgot to show you the sunglasses because i still want to add sunglasses and i got like three new pairs from uh, the brand she Vogue. they have like a new collaboration with endlessly love club and we all know we love her so the sunnies are amazing let me show you. so i got these three pairs these ones 
these ones and then these ones there are like vintage vibes how how cool these are the all black ones these are the ones with the yellowish lens also really nice and then we have these ones <gasps> I don't know I kind of really felt these ones though I think I'm gonna go for these ones Okay guys, the gas is done and it's time to pick up Iris and I thought we could have a little shot while I drive there. By the time you're watching this, it's already February but to me it's still January and actually, you know how you usually feel like January never like passes by quickly enough? It's just like it, it feels like it's two months instead of one. But I actually didn't feel that this January, I actually felt like it was like pretty regular and normally paced. I don't know, I don't know if that's relevant. And I also wanted to update you guys, because I received a very a lovely message from a girl the other day asking if my um, little insomnias are better, because near the new years I had very very bad anxiety and I was waking up every day at like 3 a.m. not being able to go to sleep and I would just go through every little detail of my life it did get a little bit better but it still happens like it happened today for instance I woke up again and I just feel like overall very anxious about my life I don't know why back then I thought it was just because of the new year it's like a time of the year where people just expect a lot like they just talk a lot about resolutions and things they want to achieve and they go they usually go like um, through the whole year that they just had and talk about like what they achieved and um, I just felt like it was too much for me that's why the anxiety I was watching other people that's also because of social media of course I was watching other people like going through their year and uh, all of their achievements and I didn't feel like I was at the same level but that's on me actually I just need to spend less time on social media but anyways I thought it was because of that I thought it was because of the new years but now that it's still happening I think it's maybe just anxiety in general I don't know because there's maybe a few things changing like I'm moving out of my parents house and I'm moving to that place I showed you guys a couple of vlogs ago I'm moving with my boyfriend which is kind of scary like um, it is scary moving in with someone you know like a lot of things can go wrong and <laughs> but I know you have to do it eventually so I mean I'm not complaining but like this job as being an influencer if you like to call it it's a bit unstable and sometimes I'm like will I still be doing this in like two years or even next year and what will I be doing because this really makes me happy will I find another thing to do that makes me as happy and then I also have a lot of anxiety towards not being enjoying life as much as I should like to the fullest like I, I I get loads of anxiety because I like oh I should be traveling more I should be going places while I'm young um, I don't know I don't know I think also this job of creating content it's also like super again I'm not complaining but <laughs> you also get like the feeling that you are never doing enough like oh I should be doing more TikToks I should be posting more I should be um, talking more on my stories I should be doing this and that because again you see other people do that and you compare yourself I know I know that 90% of my problems are like root 
wanting in comparing myself so I really need to change that but yeah I just wanted to have a little chat and update you because I received that message from the girl asking if I was sleeping better and I really it really made my day because like it made me feel that yes you watch my vlogs and you 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 worry about me so it was I mean maybe you don't worry but that girl worried about me and it really made my day and my week and I'm still thinking about her <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to update you guys on my life and I am ready to pick up Iris I'm outside today we are shooting I like a huge garden place it's not like I don't know how to say it in English it's like a, a huge place where you go to buy plants um, so yeah I'm excited <laughs> Yet another major foil of ours. Also, say hi to hey. the queen. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so we arrived to the garden place, and when we got inside, um, first of all, the lady told us that they were about to close, and they would only open up again one hour later. And then they asked us to put our bags in like a locker thing, and we were like. But the bags are part of the outfit, like we were <laughs> what are we gonna do? So we kind of just decided to come to a Burger King and have lunch. That's basically it. And I'm also very sad because there's like a new burger, not like a burger, like a new long sandwich veggie one here at Burger King. It looks like it's made for like a very long nugget. And I was about to order that. But they said they were out, like they were also out. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just eating my regular bean sandwich, which is also very good if you are a veggie and you've never tried the bean sandwich. I really advise you to do that. And Iris got like a very good uh, burger. I mean, I think it looks good. I told her, <laughs> I kind of told her to get this one. So if it's bad, it's all on me. But it has like egg and truffle. Yeah, so you look at the box, so cute. Look at the box. I'm gonna give you feedback later. <laughs> explanations to do because yesterday I just stopped vlogging and it was because our day went completely down the drain so our plans of shooting at that garden uh, didn't go well so we just had lunch and then it was sunny everywhere like super super sunny not even one cloud inside and you guys know we don't shoot in the sun we hate it so we ended up shooting like at an Ikea and it was very stressful because we were running out of time and we didn't have the content yet so and it wasn't interesting at all uh, it wasn't our best content but it's still best to have content than no content I guess uh, but yeah that was why I stopped vlogging uh, but anyways today is another day I already have the hair and makeup done and I need to decide what outfit I'm gonna shoot but I, throughout this week I got like loads of packages and I was saving them all to open them up to show you guys so let's do a little unboxing so the first ones are from a brand called Au Revoir Cinderella and they're uh, boots oh my god they're so nice so this is the first pair I got. They're very cute, like this suede color. I can't wait to wear them. The second pair is also from the same store, but it's from Jeffrey Campbell. And I always love their boxes. Like the boots from Jeffrey Campbell always come in these types of boxes and they're so cute. I got just some black cowboy boots with these details here I think they're really nice and I, I usually wear cowboy boots more during spring summer I don't know why 
So yeah, I think they're really cute, like uh, floral dresses and then these boots. Just like dresses in general and these boots look very, very cool. Let's open up the next one. The next one I have absolutely no idea where it's from because it only says that it's from Sweden and it was shipped from... There's like a girl name and not like a brand's name, so... Let's see. Oh, I think it's jewelry. Let's see. Okay, so this is the package. Let's open it up. Oh my god, guys, I'm the worst with opening up these types of stuff. Oh, okay, got, got it. Oh my god! Okay, guys, so this is the name of the brand, Maria Neal's Daughter. I don't know how to say it. And this is the pieces I ask for. First, we have like this necklace with like the safety pin, like right? I think this is called safety pin. And with little pearls, how cute is it? <laughs> And then I asked for like these two safety pins that are like ear piercings. They're really nice. And then we have these little two hearts. Overall, it's like a very rebel collection and I'm really in love. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, last but not least, we have a package from Luisa Viroma, which I'm always excited about because I love working with them. We have two Gucci items. The first one is this cute bag. How cute is it? Oh my god. I've been wanting a Gucci bag for so long because I think that this monogram really goes well in like brown, beige, monochrome outfits. So yeah. And then I got the matching gloves. How cute. Hee <laughs> hee. How good are they? Thank you so much, Luisa Viajoma. And I think I'm gonna try and do today's outfit around these two items. So, let's see. Okay guys, I'm ready. I'm very happy with this outfit. So, we have the gloves and the matching bag going on and then because we have like this green here I thought I could use this puffer that I got a while ago it's from a Frankie shop uh, it's a brand I love by the way so you should definitely check them out it's like my go-to for jackets uh, then I just put on these dickies they're like the dickies work pants and then I'm just wearing the green covers to match all the greens and stuff oh and these sunnies are the ones from Shivo with the collaboration with Endlessly Love Club and today I'm gonna bring another outfit here because me and Iris are gonna try to take night pictures as well <sighs> so yeah pray for me because whenever I tell my plans on the vlog it never works so let's see if it does work today uh, but yeah let's go guys I changed sunnies I borrowed this from Iris because they're the exact same shade of my jacket how cute are they they're from naked by the way and we're at a brunch place <laughs> I was too hungry to record the pancakes, but it was very, very good. Hello guys, it's a wrap. We just finished shooting this outfit and now we're gonna change at a parking lot uh, for another outfit. It's very crazy of us because we haven't done like two outfits in one day for a while. We used to do three. We used to do three. 
But that was before we started getting picky with our pictures. And old. <laughs> and old. <laughs> but now we're gonna change and we're gonna try night pictures in this iPhone. Let's see, they say it's the only thing that's better than the other ones. It's for night pictures. So, let's see, let's see. I think we're gonna freeze. I think we're gonna freeze because we're both gonna wear skirts. But yeah, fingers crossed, it's gonna go well. And we have extra content. Okay guys, we already changed uh, and we are feeling extremely uncomfortable because <laughs> we have like mini skirts going on and it's freezing and I feel like everyone's going to look at us. But, For sure. but we cool. still look so cute, look at us. We are kind of matching. Yeah, I'm planned actually, so once again. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are waiting for sunset and for it to be turned a little bit darker so I decided to show you my outfit So the jacket is vintage uh, Then I just got an old shirt and this is from my dad And then the skirt is from Weijin And my boots are from Pneumonia like this iPhone at all because apparently the flash is also very very shitty I mean it's too strong and it makes your skin like super pale bright whatever so what we are actually doing is taking just regular pictures uh, the videos always look way better uh, and then what we do is like take uh, record the video and then do you want to show how you how we do we record the video like that this and then there. just click there to get pictures that are a bit better yeah it's still a struggle though we are still struggling it's already almost 7 p.m <laughs> but but we are going to keep going gotta keep strong it's friday so That's why I have my makeup done. I haven't put on lipstick yet. That's why it looks kind of weird But I wanted to show you uh, This package I just got that is from uh, Naked Wolf. Here we go Let's open this up. Shall we? <laughs> oh my god Beauties Beauties, beauties. I love these types of boots that they have. I also have like uh, ones that are like super long but I asked them for, for these ones as well because I think I'll be using them for different purposes uh, but yeah thank you so much Naked Wolf I'm gonna do my outfit today and today I really want to style my new vintage jacket that is this one it's really really cute it's very oversized brown leather and then it has like these shearling details it's from an instagram account that is called svc it's honestly i honestly advise that account if you want to get like vintage leather jackets they sell out very very quick but i think that sometimes you can also message the brand and say what you're looking for and maybe they can get it for you uh, but yeah i kind of want to wear these with these cargo pants and then maybe like Ugg boots uh, so yeah let's see okay so this is the basis of the fit i put on this like green turtleneck that is from zara man because i kind of want the turtleneck to come out of the jacket i think it's gonna be a cute detail and this green kind of matches this lighter green so yes i think it looks cute and now for the shoes i think i'm going to go for the platform uggs because i think they're just gonna look better i need to show you the complete outfit better outside but i think it looks very cute and then for the bag i was thinking this one but maybe with the 
symbol backwards and maybe like this do we like it? I think I like it I still need to like brush my hair but I was thinking of adding these as well I think it's cute okay I'm ready I'm just gonna add like some accessories and I'll see you outside browsing for places to shoot because once again it's uh, very very sunny and there are people passing by and I'm very shy <laughs> I don't like vlogging in public but here we are uh, and yeah it's another day another struggling day for the two of us we were already talking about booking trips because it's not been easy to shoot at all I don't want to be that bitch, but you know the curse? Do you know the curse? <laughs> the curse of the vlog. <laughs> okay. This is the saddest lunch we've had lately, but I'm vlogging today, so I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. <laughs> Okay guys, so we parked Iris Jeep here and we're taking some pictures with our Starbucks cup. That's the best we could do today, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to show you the reality of our job and it's not always easy. So, yeah. Should we show them the pictures? Oh, yes. How cute! How cute! How cute. I think it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just got back home and I realized I didn't show you the complete outfit, so here we are. It's unboxing time. I just realized that I always sit on my bed with my outside clothes. And I know that some people are completely disgusted by that. I've seen on TikTok that is like a major ick for some people, like sitting on your bed with outside clothes. And I'm so sorry about that. But I don't I literally don't have anywhere else to sit. And I don't want to change into like my pajamas because I still have to shower. But I want to do the unboxing first, so we're gonna do that first. Um, so yeah, I got home and I had like a bunch of stuff and I'm very excited about And this is the first one. And this is actually from Rag Priest. And this is not like uh, gifted, gifted or anything. This I bought myself because I saw it online and I was completely obsessed. So this is it. How cute is this skirt? Patches with like loads of tartan. I think this is called tartan, right? Patchwork pleated skirt in multi mix check. Yeah, it's check that I wanted to say. Yeah. So yeah, how cute is it? I might style it tomorrow. And then I got a big, big package from my biggest plug that is Source Unknown. If you guys don't know the brand, you are missing out because. They're my absolute favorite, honestly. Okay, so first of all, we have this really cute, like, uh, gray... Um, I think this material is called, like, mohar? Mohar? I don't know how to say it. And then this thing that I don't know how to call it because I forgot how to speak in English. But it's also very cute, isn't it? Oh, look at what it says here. This is what I feel about you. But yeah, I feel, I feel like this is like supposed to be worn with this and it's really cute. 
So thank you, Source Unknown. And then we have a very, very cute jacket. Oh my god! Look at this. It's like a big ass white bomber with leather details here. Can you see it? And here as well. Anyways, more updates on my life. I've been I've been reading this book. The Seven Husbands of Edwin Hugo and I'm actually 60 pages away from finishing it already like so far I feel like this is not my type of book I feel like my type of book are like thrillers because the other two I've read previously were thrillers The Silent Patient and The One of Us is Lying and it really got me like hooked you know like I was doing my everyday tasks and I was thinking about the books I was like uh, I really want to know what happens next whereas with this one that doesn't happen but when I do start reading this it also gets me hooked so it's also as engaging as the other two but the story itself excites me less if that makes sense but let's see because I feel like a lot will still happen on these last pages so I'll give you my honest opinion when I finish it and I think that's it Tomorrow is gonna be yet another shooting day, so I don't think I'm gonna show you guys that because I feel like my shooting days have been extremely boring, so I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>
this package i have absolutely no idea where it's from the crocs polex clog i think it might be like their new design should i show you better how cute they remind me of that easy pair you know how cute are they i bet these are so comfortable and what is this is this like a mug or is it like a jar what it has like am i being really dumb right now i don't know what this is they're very very comfortable guys and now let's open up the next package that is also from a shoe brand that is called in wiki we have two pairs of shoes yay there's no boots I have a snow trip next week, so these are ha very, very handy. Thank you so much. Let's see the next pair. <gasps> no way. Oh my God, they are amazing. <gasps> oh my God. I love them. I'm so excited. Imagine this, this pair with like jeans and like a black puffer. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. You know what? I'm gonna do like a magic trick. I'm gonna do this, and then all of this is gonna be clean. Ta da! Now, the question is did I really clean everything up, or did I just put everything here? so you can see it on the camera. Anyways, okay guys, what else is new? I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and um, I really loved it. Even though it's not a thriller like these two, I really loved it and the ending is very interesting. It has a major plot twist and I feel like the character, her character really grows on you. You, you really end up loving Evelyn. At least I did, maybe I'm just a little psycho but yeah nevertheless i understand the hype and now i'm gonna start this one and i know what you're thinking i received some comments on instagram as well because they were like why are you reading that book then if you like thrillers because i already bought it so i'm gonna read it it's called it ends with us and i know it's uh very talked about as well and yeah, I'm gonna start this one and then hopefully read more thrillers. I already bought three more thrillers, so I'm waiting for them to arrive from Amazon. Those are my news. And now I think I'm just gonna reply to emails, send invoices, send brand selections. So yeah, so I think this is it. I think the vlog is gonna end here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.